Okay guys, we're back in Helldivers 2 and we have made progress towards the Major Order. There also seems to be a hilarious story around somebody grounding their son for attending a pro automaton rally. Yep, you heard me correctly. And we're going to take a look at what classes would do to the game. On top of that, I've got a message for you guys with regards to the community managers and or Arrowhead staff. So I need you guys to really adhere to this one and listen very sharply. With that being said, if you haven't already, make sure you smashing the beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on it'd be greatly appreciated on top of that check out our sponsor instant gaming the number one platform for all favorite games on steam origin battle.net you play and indie games on the playstation xbox and switch all up to 70 percent off they're completely digital games and they have instant delivery 24 7 they bulk purchase from the developers and sell to you guys at a cheaper price it's completely like legal and safe and everybody wins so with that being said let's dive on in to today's video starting off we have got the major order we have finally taken maya although it is looking to be probably one of the hardest major orders we have had to date now why is that seeming to be the case well we've taken out maya and we are now making route towards tibet although with one day and 20 hours remaining that will essentially mean that we have got a day for each planet and we need to obviously hold these down this is going to be a bit of a nightmare because realistically this one should take out the automatons for good or at least that's where we're at at the moment i don't believe that they're going to be gone i feel like there's a load of automatons hiding but that's a video all on its own but nonetheless Nonetheless, this is going to be absolutely ridiculous, mainly because if we look at Helldivers.io, we are going to see that there is a bit of a weird conjunction with how this is all going right now. Based on how this is right now, we have got 100,000 players inside a Tibet, which is 50% of the community, and it's going to predict around 14 and a half hours just for this one planet alone. Now, we are 45% the way through this, so if we look at it on a standard level, this means that this is going to take around 14 hours and we should take around another 30 hours to take Dersion because we're only on 12% for that one. This is going to be a bloody tight, tight major order and I feel like this is going to lead for some really high-end movements towards the Terminids once we finally get this done. So what is your motivation for getting this major order done? Obviously, you will play exactly what you want to play and after recent videos, we are now obviously on a format of that is absolutely fine. Play the game the way you want to. Although the likelihood is is this major order is going to phase into another phase to finalize the uh, disruption of the automatons so we're going to have to do it eventually anyway but nonetheless once this is done i feel like the terminators are going to take a almighty swing at taking over as we still have around four sectors left for the terminated sections which is a, a a lot and it's going to get pretty damn heated when it comes to this format now you guys will go in and and do what it is you need to do but for right now we need to essentially those of you who are diving into the major order this weekend take out tibet as quickly as we can and move on to dersion let me know what you guys are thinking via the comment section below and we've been speaking a lot about this as far as tactics and stuff in the discord which is now over 10,000 people strong so if you want to get involved with it head down to the description and join 10,000 hell divers driving in for democracy now, let's take a look at what we've got going on next. There is a hilarious, hilarious story which I absolutely love and so do 6.7 thousand of you. This one made me laugh no end. Now, for those of you guys who don't know, I am a father. I do have children and this made me laugh so much. It says right here, AITA for grounding my son for attending a pro automaton rally. So I'm coming back home from manufacturing hell bombs when my wife calls me crying. She says, that my son and dozens of others are flying automaton flags and chanting their war chant outside city hall as a veteran hell diver i was very su surprised that the son i raised would do such a thing so i decided to take away his liberator penetrator and ground him for a month as well as enrolling him into junior hell diver summer camp my wife says that i'm being way too harsh and he is just going through a phase but such undemocratic behavior should be punished in my opinion AIT that is absolutely hilarious guys if you guys have dived into the main comments for this one which i recommend you do it is so 
damn funny. The roleplay in this is just absolutely incredible. And these are some of my most favorite Reddit posts on the website. I don't care about the leaks. I don't care about all of the other conversations. These ones are my favorite ones. Get some more of these in here and get your stories known. Let me know your opinions on this and what you would do if your son was in a pro automaton rally. Hilarious. Moving on though, we have got a post right here with 3.2 thousand upvotes that talks about how classes would make the game worse. Now, I actually agree with this and I don't think that it would make the game better at all. Already, based on how the armor goes and the way that that one works, you essentially already have a borderline class-based characterization in here based on what you're doing, based on how heavy your armor set is. So this one already is it making things a little bit ship shapey, but it goes on to state. I've heard people talking about wanting to add class as a secondary progression to the game, and I'm not sorry for this. That is an objectively awful take. Adding multiple classes for different playstyles would just make teams super random and uneven because no one can account for what classes any given player will be, as well as turn off players who don't want to stick to one class most of the time, and then when they see how much progress they haven't made in the other classes just causes them to stop playing because of all the catching up they would have to do. The game already passively encourages class-based play in an organic way by having stratagems and support weapons which fit certain playstyles, and it's all bought from one menu. You just pay and wreck amount and it's yours forever. One of the worst parts of shooter games from the last two generations of consoles was having to level up guns to get attachments for that gun only. It was a pain in the ass and every time you wanted to use a new gun tough s you have to grind a bunch to get the s you want for it it would massively ruin the game i'm fine with more armor perks or boosters but adding classes would make me play the game much less now i solidly agree with this don't get me twisted the way that the game operates and the way that we have the specializations of things with regards to stratagems and or boosters and stuff like that the armor sets we already have a borderline class maker which which kind of revolves around how it is you want to play based on what you're picking and already that kind of makes the game a little bit ship shapey when you're going into the standard matchmaking of things but if you're playing with other people that you know and you are communicating with it can work really really well the problem with forcing classes along the line is that it will cause a massive issue in the gen generic economy inside of the game this will make things a lot worse and it will mean that so many more people are getting kicked from it i want to know what your guys opinions are to classes in the comment section below and we're going to get some discussions going i am at the setup all day we're doing work on the discord we're going to be doing some giveaways and stuff like that and talking of giveaways we are giving away a copy of Helldivers 2 today. You guys have got very little time to dive into this one. If you haven't already, get down into the comment section and stick in a Earth emoji. That's right. We're switching it up big time. Get an Earth emoji in the comment section down below for Super Earth. And we're going to pick one of you guys later on today to win the copy. And if you've already got the copy of the game, don't panic. We'll give you guys the money equivalent in Super Credits. So with that being said, let's dive on into the final topic, which for me is probably the most most important. This is going to talk about the overall communications towards the development team over at Arrowhead and the community managers. Now I was just scouting through the Helldivers Discord, official Discord, and I was taking a look at what some of the community managers and directors and stuff like that had said inside of there, and I came across a very concerning message. Now I know the how the gaming community works, and I know that this is a relatively standard format, although I am going to be that person and ask you guys to make sure you're speaking to these people with respect. The Baskinator put up a comment in response to another comment. Somebody stated, I know this isn't the first time she's had to deal with harassment from this discord and it makes me sick to my stomach. Now I couldn't agree more. I think it's absolutely disgusting. There is another human being on the other side of what you're typing and not only that, but that person is essentially being one of the key development points for a game that you enjoy playing, which is why you're in there to begin with. But the Baskinator responded with, don't worry about me, it's part of my job and I I have learned to laugh it off most of it though the situation that causes someone to say that in particular about what's happening 
in the world is truly sad. And that absolutely disgusts me that somebody has to be used to it. Now, don't get me twisted as a part of my job as a community figure, per se, as a YouTuber. But we, we do get a lot of hate. We do get a lot of slander and stuff like that. And that's absolutely fine. I understand it. But although it comes with a part of the job, it doesn't make it okay. And I really, really, really want this community to be one of the most kind-hearted communities on the internet. I feel like as Helldivers, we genuinely have that power to be that. And I think that is a massive, massive key feature for you guys. So make sure, make sure you spread kindness and make sure you spread some love and make sure you treat these developers, community managers, Arrowhead staff, any of them, just make sure you treat them with respect and make sure you're treating other Helldivers with that same respect that you would expect to be treated with. This is just a message just to be kind. It is a little bit of an extended one, but nonetheless, this isn't okay and it shouldn't be happening. And no matter whether it's a thing that happens in the gaming world, I still don't find that acceptable. If you're going to be a part of the community, then make sure you treat people with the love you want to be treated with. That's all we've got time for today. Thank you so much again for watching, guys. I appreciate all your faces. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, super earth comment emoji in the comment section. And until the next time, I'll see you in the clouds.